I have few people in the United States. I have friends there. In fact, I consult for one of the firm over there. I do a little bit of a graphic design work for them. But ever since I've been speaking to people in the United States, I don't think I've ever encountered a situation whereby it was discussed that they used to use generator for their power supply. I think once I've seen it in a movie in a very remote area where electricity supply is in that stable or maybe electricity supplier hasn't gotten there. Or some of the poles and wiring and the connectivity has, hasn't been installed in such particular area. That's the only place. Maybe very, very remote, I mean deeply rural remote area. That's the only place I've seen in movie where generator is being used. But this very girl who happens to be in Nigeria and travels abroad, and she claimed in a statement that she's using generator. You can pause this video and read the story I'm putting uh, on top of the screen so as to probably uh, ask yourself if that is true. According to her, the story said, why I use generator in the U.S.? Ladies abroad opens up, says Nigerian. Nigeria followed her here. In Nigeria, here yeah, we use generator. Luckily, today we have our power supply. But obviously, even before I finish this video, it might be interrupted. And I might be lucky, it might still be home. But quite unfortunate, um, we use generator here most of the time because we have a uh, um, epileptic power supply, like they used to call it. But I don't think it's epileptic anyway. I think it's just man made problem. Uh, uh, when you have uh, inadequacies or inadequate people governing your country or governing your community, those are the things you know. And it's not as if they are inadequate, to be honest. They are just wicked people. People, Some people will use the word self centered or selfish or corrupt. But I just term everything as wicked. So that's what we use here. Maybe this lady traveled to the United States. And she said uh, she resorted to using a generator in her home after a heavy downpour. Maybe the heavy downpour, which is heavy rain, maybe it disrupts the connectivity or the it, it interrupts the power supply or it damaged something. She said they brought a generator and set it up, but never use any of it, never use any for it until the event of that day. She said it is, for, it is the first time in two years they will be using the generator and a lighted things its power. So for most of you who live in diaspora, especially in the United States, so the question is to you, do you guys use generator? Do every downpour, especially all these tsunamis and stuff like that, does it affect the way, uh, does it affect your power supply? Anyway, do you guys, if you are in Nigeria and you have been living in the United States for quite some time, and you are privileged to be on this video, please put your comment at the comment section. I want to hear your view. Is it true that uh, people use generator in the United States, especially in a community that is well developed? I'm not talking about the rural area. I understand if you are living in the rural, rural area, maybe rural, rural extremely rural, remote area, you know. But I will really appreciate your thoughts if this is true. If truly generators are being used over right there, or the government of the day takes care of things, and when there is lack of power supply or some of the power grid is faulty, how 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 quick does your does the people who are in charge attend to it and quickly resolve it? So I see you next time. Take care and stay cool. See, see.